Psalm 63, would you look at it? Verse 1, O God, thou art my God, early will, will I seek thee. My soul thirsteth for thee, my flesh longeth for thee, in a dry and thirsty land where no water is. To see thy power and thy glory, so, ha so as I have seen thee in the sanctuary. Because thy loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise thee. Thus will I bless thee. While I live, I, lift up, I will lift up my hands in, in your name. Now watch, watch this. This is, this is, this is awesome. My soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness. And my mouth shall praise thee with joyful lips. My God. How many of you want the presence of Jesus to penetrate you so much you'll be satisfied? Come on, lift your hands up. It belongs to you. I'm telling you, it belongs to you. You see what the psalmist said? He said, you're my God. Early will I seek thee. My soul is thirsty for you. My flesh is longing for you in a dry and thirsty land where there is no water. There is no moisture. There is no presence. Lord, I am in a place. I am starving for you. I am hungry for you. But the problem is, I cannot find your presence anywhere. And I want to see your power and your glory. As I have experienced you in your sanctuary. And you're going to do it, Lord, because your loving kindness is better than life. My lips will praise you. I'm going to bless you while I live. And then he says this amazing thing. When you answer my prayer, my soul will be satisfied as with marrow and fatness. And suddenly my mouth will erupt with your praise. Oh, dear God, I pray somebody's listening. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. This is Hosea 4, verse 1. Hear the word of the Lord, you children of, of Israel, for the Lord hath a controversy with the inhabitants of the land, because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land. This is what is going on now. No truth, no mercy, and no knowledge. Forgive me, you, you, you turn on your television set and you shut it off because there's nothing there. You're looking for truth and they scream at you. You're looking for mercy and you can't find it. You're looking for knowledge and you have to cry out for it because it comes and goes. And the whole time you're crying out... Like the psalmist, my, my soul is hungry, my, my flesh is longing for you. I'm in a dry and thirsty land, there's no water here. But I know I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. Why are you so quiet, oh my soul? Why are, you, why are you cast down? And you've got to talk to yourself and say, hope in God. I'm going to still praise Him. He's the help and health of my countenance. Jesus, Lord, speak to us. Here's the key. Hosea 6.3 Then shall we know, if we follow on to know the Lord. Here's what, what, here's what happens. Hey, David, come here. Can, can I get him from the back? I want to I wanna show you something. David? Sir. Let's start walking here. Come on. No, no. I, 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 I want to show you something. In all reverence, I am the Lord. You're me. Follow me. Now, I didn't pull you. I, I didn't beg you. I just asked. 
just said, come follow me. Now, as you follow me, I'll bring you to a place and I'll stop. You have to stop because I have stopped. But one day comes and I don't tell you I'm about to move again. And you become so dull and there's so many noises around you because that's really what happens. So many voices start talking to you. You're, you're not hearing the Lord at all. And I say again, follow me, but you don't because you really didn't know I'm leaving and you didn't even hear me say it. So I leave. I'm going on. I am not coming back because I said I'm going. We shall know if we follow on to follow. Did, did you just read that? Look at it again. Hosea 6.3. Now you stay right there. You cannot know him in his depth unless you do what I just read. I'll read it again. Then shall we know if we follow on to know. We shall know if we follow on to know the Lord. It's a progressive walk. It's a daily fellowship. So you stop here. I walk. I, I leave you really behind because you didn't decide to follow. I'm here. You're there. But what, what happens to you when, when, the, when the master is elsewhere? You die. Suddenly the bondage is back, the world is back, the devils are back. Everything is back that you thought you were free from. Because Jesus is gone. Right? Yeah. But that's what happens. That's what happens. But if you make a decision, oh, you got it, brother. Yeah. Don't leave me. See what I said to the Lord a few days ago? I said, please, Lord, for your sake, tie me to you and never let me go. I said, I don't care how you do it. Tie me to you. Just wrap me. Take hold of me. We shall know if we follow to know. Anybody listening here? Psalm 62, verse 1. Truly my soul waiteth upon God. From him cometh my salvation. Total salvation is when Jesus is there in his fullness. I don't think, frankly, we've experienced that. But see what it says, my soul waiteth. I'm going to talk about this in just a second, but I want you to go to Psalm 39. And I want you to look at verse 7, verse 8. And now, Lord, what wait I for? Remember, he said, wait. What am I waiting for? My hope is in thee. I'm waiting for you, Lord. Deliver me from all my transgressions. Make me not the reproach of the foolish. Because you see, my brother and sister, if you do not seek the Lord... And wait for the Lord till you find him. Your transgressions will take hold of you. And the foolish will reproach you. All right. Let's talk about waiting. Would you mind giving me um, some, uh, I should say Isaiah 40. You all should know it. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew they shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Okay, now look at me, all of you. Waiting is not prayer. It's, it's beyond prayer. 